Cyclone Cheeto, a hurricane equivalent system in the Southwest Indian Ocean. Cyclone Cheeto, now a Category 1 equivalent cyclone in the Southwest Indian Ocean at 10.6 degrees south, 59.6 degrees east as of 8 a.m. Mauritius time, December 11th, 2024. Once again, a Category 1 equivalent system with wind speeds of 85 mile an hour, 135 kilometers an hour, central pressure of 975 millibars. Moving to the west or west-northwest, compass direction 280 slightly north of west that is at seven miles an hour or 11 kilometers an hour and scoring 58 points on our tropical cyclone operation scale or t coast for short make bringing it to a code yellow once again a category one uh, on the Saffir simpson scale according to meteor france's scale that is a severe tropical storm with what with, with what they have it as latest at 8 a.m. Mauritius time, 7 a.m. Antananarivo, 4 a.m. UTC, Wednesday, December the 11th, 2024. Once again, 85 mile an hour winds, central pressure 975 millibars, code yellow on Ticos. And as you can see in the latest imagery there, uh, it was improving in the latest frames there. But this system currently rem uh, remains 658 miles away from Mauritius, 708 from Ansir Ananar, 756 from Réunion, 986 from Antananarivo, and 1310 away from Miaula in Mozambique. That's 1059 kilometers away from Mauritius, 1139 from Ansir Ananar, 1217 for Réunion, 1587 from Antananarivo, and 2108 away from Miaula. The wind fields of this system remain at 55 nautical miles to the northwest and northeastern sides of this storm, 80 nautical miles to the southeastern side being the strongest, and 75 to the southwest. Now, I couldn't find 64 knot winds, so I've just gone with my gut here, but uh, the JTWC have 10 for the next, uh, from this, from 6 Zulu, so I've just sort of gone in the middle with 5 nautical miles on those three sides there being the northwest the southeast and the southwestern sides of the storm cyclone cheeto is by force 13 analysis a category one equivalent storm this means winds of 85 mile an hour at its center this system is headed towards the islands of madagascar and later mozambique uh, this system is expected to strengthen further to a category three equivalent storm prior to landfall in northern madagascar but it won't make landfall at that intensity. A significantly weaker storm is expected to make landfall in Mozambique as well. So it bears repeating, this is a category one equivalent storm with intensification expected up to a category three, which you will see in this track forecast in just a moment. So we initiate this at 85 miles an hour and it gradually strengthens up to 125 miles an hour before making a landfall in the northern tip of Madagascar there before continuing into the Mozambique channel weakening down to a tropical storm, making landfall in Mozambique around about 40, I want to say, uh, miles an hour. But the primary threats you will see in just a moment for Madagascar are damaging winds. So as I said, damaging winds, winds of up to 100 miles an hour could impact the northern coasts of Madagascar. In addition, rainfall of up to 12 inches could also impact the same region. When the system reaches Mozambique, the primary hazard for that region will be heavy rainfall as 20 inches, by my calculations, are expected to fall on the region. Wind speed is not expected to be as strong as it will be in Madagascar. But uh, yeah, so 20 inches of rainfall, by my calculations, take that with a pinch of salt if, uh, if you need to uh, uh, second guess me. It's up to you. Uh, but yep, so that's uh, Mozambique. Uh, Madagascar again are expected to deal with the brunt of this system when it comes to wind speed. So here's the latest cone by Meteor France. As you can just about see, they expect a cyclone equivalent storm to make impact into Madagascar while the system weakens into a moderate tropical storm for uh, the re into the Mozambique Channel. Sea surface temperatures really are helping this system uh, uh, strengthen, really. No pro not a problem at all. When it comes to surface plots, the closest we get is in the northwest uh, corner 
of the system where I'm seeing, if I can read that correctly, a thousand and nine millibars, but that's not, that's nowhere near the center of this storm. The system is gonna track generally westwards towards the rest of its life. When it comes to the multimodal diagnostics, yep, they take this up to at least 120 knots by one of the models there. I believe that was the H wolf. Uh, according to the GFS here, deep layer shear is not a problem for the system. Uh, Sea surface temperatures, once again, also not a problem across all model runs here. Mid-level relative humidity, also not a problem. So here's the latest uh, satellite imagery of this system. You can just about see the latest frames there. It loses those uh, purple colored cloud tops and begins to form an eye by the looks of things. Uh, yeah, so once again, this system is really trying to take off right about now. So you can see it loses its purples and pinks and then to trades those colors for an eye which appears to be forming there. Um, okay, yeah, and again, this system is expected to travel westwards towards Madagascar, make, might, might hopefully uh, skirt the coastline of northern Madagascar there, make a landfall, I wouldn't rule it out, but it's going to be incredibly close. So here's the next lot of imagery, looking at the cloud tops here. Uh, you can just about see as the sun rises over this uh, storm as well. I believe it begins to form an eye as well on this imagery. And as it comes over to the next one, let's take a look at this. Oh yeah, you can just about see there's yeah, there's definitely an eye forming on that one as well. It's there's a it begins to lose those white colours as well in trading those whites in for an eye as well. As again, as I said earlier, this system is headed towards Madagascar, the, the very northern tip of that area. And yeah, once it passes that area, it will make a beeline for uh, Mozambique as well. So, here, once again, that is that. So stay tuned to force13.com. Of course, you want to take a look at the satellite imagery for yourself. The link to do so is in the lower left of your screen right there. Stay tuned to force13 for more on this system and stay safe those in the path of this storm.